Hi everyone, Hussein is here from HDM Electrical. Today we're going to talk about switchboard upgrading and show you step by step what should be done in that process. You may not be familiar with that expression, but hopefully this video is going to give you some ideas and, uh, and also emphasize how important it is for your property and your appliances, which end up to be your safety and avoid any fire in the future. Hope you enjoy it. Hi everyone, uh, we are here today at uh, West Panel Hills to do some switchboard upgrade. This customer has three phase 80 amp supply from the utility company and uh, he's planning actually to install the three phase solar system for his, for his house and uh, apparently they told him that switchboard has been up has to be upgraded because of the main switch is quite old is there's no circuit breaker and uh, as you see that's the old one I removed the cover already we have the old style fuse with the ceramic base and a cartridge which is not acceptable anymore they already had single phase but apparently they plan to convert it to three phase uh, already started half an hour uh, there's a few switches here and the circuit breakers which has been removed what we are planning to do is to put box in here and remove all of these things and replace them inside this box with uh, uh, proper rated circuit breakers for the lights, power and the main switch which is going to be 3 phase circuit breaker 63 amp Okay, something else you need to remember for the future records and also to pay attention because well, if you mess up with the switchboard you mess up with your entire house and there it can be easily caused a severe fire burning cable and huge expensive uh, maintenance to redo the everything the example that we have here is for light. It's supposed to be 10 amp, as is mentioned inside the inside the you know, base of the f fuse. And uh, no matter what the top one, the cover one says, the rate for a circuit is decided by the thickness of the cable. According to Australian standards, the rule of thumb says. 1.5 for a light that means you're not supposed to put and install anything over 10 amp as a circuit breaker or protection system for 1.5 millimeter circuit so never ever judge based on the rating on the fuse always check the cable in here it says 10 amp which is correct but as you see in here which is the fuse I pull out it says 20 amp and actually that's that's all the style which you have a cartridge here and uh, so never judge based on whatever is here always check the cable at the back and sometimes the good electrician actually write something inside just as a reminder that never put anything more than 10 amp on that one for example for a light and for uh, power circuits like a power board power points uh, nothing more than 20 amp as long as the circuit is is used the cable 2.5 uh, so do not think we can just exchange the top part with each other you're gonna mess with entire wiring of your house so always follow the rules and make sure if you don't know that call your electrician ask them what they should do and they will give you advice what's the proper rating for that of course security and safety first never try to touch anything inside the switchboard by yourself unless you're a licensed electrician or you get advice from proper person by that I mean again, licensed electrician 
and uh, do not think it's harmless do not think it's an easy job do not think it's it's not a big deal it's actually a very big deal we get back to you again it's halfway done as you see the new box has been installed with the new switches and when I progress I'm gonna get back to you okay uh, we are 70% done this customer has one uh, solar meter as well on the side as you see behind this here uh, we replace whatever we had here as a fuses with the safety fuses as uh, safety circuit breakers uh, they call it RCBO so it's circuit breaker plus RCD we replace them for the light and the power points as a regulation in Australian standards uh, since this customer has a three phase uh, supply what we have to do and make sure we do it properly is that uh, load distribution so we have to be aware of the amount of the load that he has and he wants to have and also based on the load on the house and maximum demand uh, distribute the load between the three phases equally as much as we can sometimes it's not 100 percent possible to uh, distribute the load equally uh, between three phases but we have to do our best uh, that's also a part of regulation that's why this part is not still connected but the top one of the circuit uh, the safety switches and the bottom one is connected later on I'm gonna get back to you after I'm finished with the labeling and everything and we're gonna finalize it okay that's the job which is finished as you see nice and tidy very clean everything is labeled here with the neutral bar number for each circuit it's two of them it's just a circuit breaker the four safety switch safety switch normal circuit breaker and the main switch the main switch so that's how should be the job done